having grown up in Washington, and I was born here as my father before me, as his father before him, as his father before him, as his father before him, and one, two, three, four, five, six, his father before him, I certainly have a feeling of, uh, of the city as more than the uh, uh, capital of the nation. It's a real mid-eastern city to me that I love, and I want people to know it uh, as being real. Perched in his second floor studio in the historic LaDroit building on F Street Northwest, 53-year-old Frank Wright paints the changing landscape below him and beyond. He moved into this urban observatory just temporarily back in 1963. The landlord said, look, I can't give you a lease uh, because we don't know when the building's going down. You'll have to be here on a month-to-month -month basis. So for the last uh, 23 years, I've been here on a month-to-month -month basis. <laughs> Over the years, violence and hardship have often walked the F Street corridor, including the riots of 68. But generally speaking, there's no room on Frank Wright's canvases for the sharp edges of life. My world is the people coming and going, trying to, to earn a living and get along with other people. And uh, that can be picturesque. You know, it really is rather beautiful to see people just living their lives. I love to look at people just simply on park benches and uh, just uh, relating to other people. So maybe it's a kind of a mild uh, uh, attitude to have in painting, but it's, um, it's sometimes the the flow and harmony of human existence can be just as picturesque as the, the derelictions and, <laughs> you know, uh, lower aspects of things. So that's, uh, so the suffering, no, I haven't painted anything about the riots or the, the social unrest or something, but I have painted the people as they are and as, as they would like to see themselves. All those people that you see in that 9th Street uh, a painting, uh, which was actually over, done over a period of four or five years, are people that everyone around here would know, uh, from the vagrants uh, to the merchants to the vendors uh, to the cyclists and so on, to the artists. They're all there. They're all people and people would know. So therefore, it's a real historic document. And my attitude about painting um, this area is to document it. Uh, for the future, document the buildings, document the uh, people, and document the change. Frank Wright's style is precise but not overly detailed. It developed from his days as a student at American University in the early 50s and includes elements of printmaking, which he studied extensively in Europe. He returned home to discover that in Washington's art community, realistically speaking, his technique had been brushed aside. There was a time, you know, when I was painting, that I was painting in a great deal of more isolation than I am now. I was in the studio, but no one was cared anything about what I was doing. Uh, they were very much interested in abstract expressionism and the color school and so on. So therefore, my work sustained me because I did care about my subject matter. And uh, even if I slid them away into the racks after they were done, I still uh, uh, found great meaning of them uh, personally, so it didn't matter. I could get through that whole period without very much, uh, you know, suffering because I cared about my own life as expressed in my own work. Wright found comfort in painting family, friends, and the places he visited. He taught at the Corcoran and at the George Washington University, but his vision never changed. His persistence paid off, and in 1981, the Corcoran Gallery had a one-man exhibition of his works. Times had changed. From that early time, I was doing the work that, um, the type of work I'm doing now. I hope I'm doing it better, although, you know, that's another thing you can't really tell. Uh, some people say, gee, your work has changed. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> it, it's just, a, for me, it's a continuum, but uh, for others, it's change. Life will pass by in front of you, and uh, uh, 
one person after another will be sort of more interesting than the ordinary, then I put them all together later on, as if they were all there at once. Most of the time, my paintings aren't an instant, are not an instant in time. They are uh, a composite moment at a particular uh, time or season of the year uh, or time of day. While Wright tries to preserve those Washington moments, his own studio has become a vivid composite of his life in a part of town that seems destined to become another memory on canvas. Now, when I see what's happening up at 14th Street and see that it's slowly <laughs> moving down, I feel like my days here might be numbered. Maybe five years, two years, three years, five years, I hope 10 years. That would make a new 33 years. Now, that, that would be something, wouldn't it?